Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your man Fearless here and today we are flipping a sample to a lo-fi kind of laid back hip hop type beat. If you know what I'm saying, let's get right into this one. Let's go. One time like this, make it pop like this, make it pop like this, make it pop like this, one time like this. All right, everybody, so I found this sample. I pretty much just ripped it straight off the good old YouTube over there, so I don't tell anybody I did that, but this is what it's sounding like right now. That's all I needed to hear. Literally, that's it. So I heard that, and I was like, all right, I'm going to stretch that out. I'm going to make it work, and I'm going to fit it in there real nice. All right, so I went ahead and cut out that section that I like that's going to repeat over and over again. I went and put some warp markers and just stretched it so it was in the right place a little bit, and this is what we ended up with. All right, so I took that, but I wanted to feel more like a sample. So what I did is I went ahead and threw it into the transient slicer here in Simpler. And I just laid out and I made these just enough so I could play them on the piano and it would get it in like quarter segments. And all I did is I threw that in a mixer right here and I just went up. So it's literally just playing them all one after another. And you can hear that little pausing as it goes in and out from each of the notes. That's exactly kind of the feel I was going for. It makes it feel more like a sample. All right, so I actually transposed this three octaves now and put a bunch of effects on it just to make it sound more of like a sample. Uh, as you can see right here, I have like a halftime effect doing a little bit of EQing, and then I got some different uh, vinyl distortion effects. And if you want to see me break down the effects that I use to get it to sound like this, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make a tutorial on that one as well. But let's take a listen to this now. I just went ahead and threw some vinyl in here. I like to do this every now and again just to give it a little more texture. So it actually sounds like it's vinyl. So check this out. And from there it was just game over season. So obviously we had to start with the clap. As you can see, all of these are off-grid a little bit. They're all the same amount off-grid, but I definitely took them all and I laid them off-grid because I want to give this more of a groove, more of a feel to it, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so if you have contact complete, then you definitely already have this. This is the Abbey Road 60s drummer. Um, I actually just, I didn't even know that I had this, but it actually sounds pretty dang decent. So what I like to do when I make beats like this is I like to have some live drum sounds and you can get some pretty cool effects just by playing with the, the keys on these different plugins. So as you can see, these are off-grid as well. We're going to keep that vibe going so everything's kind of playing in its own lane. And yeah, I kind of simplified this a little bit. Pretty much just have a hi-hat constantly going, a little kick that I'm actually going to cut the lows out of. So it's just going to give it more ambience and um, this snare sound that I use. Oh, and I did put some toms in here. Here's what they sound like with all the processing on them. So as you can see, it fits in a lot better. It doesn't sound as weird and stale just because I added a little bit of effects. We can take a quick look at it though because I know you guys are probably interested. Okay, first thing I did was put an RC20 on it. They have some cool drum breaks, uh, the presets there. I would check those out if I were you. Also just a tiny little bit of reverb. Also did a little bit of just a light bit of glue compression to get everything to sit together nicer. A vacuum tube compressor to get it to punch a little bit more. I cut some lows out of it, and I cut some harsh frequencies out of it as well. All 
All right, and to finish this off, we just did like a strummed bass guitar here to give it some lower end. Now, what I did is I found where the notes were playing in the melody, and I followed the bass line with that and just made a really simple pattern. Everything together now sounds like this. But I know we had to throw a little bit of a switch up in there. So what we did is we threw a ride symbol in on the next chunk where that snare comes in. We threw in a ride symbol and we took those crazy drums that we made before out. All right, guys, so that's how you can take a sample that you love. You can add your own little pizzazz and flair on it, make it sound crazy, and then put some nasty drums on to just finish it all off. So I hope you guys like that one. Make sure to smash the like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading tutorials like this every single week that you're not going to want to miss out on. And besides that, I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out. Time like this, make it pop like this, make it pop like this, make it pop like this.